What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're talking about the iOS 13.3, 13.2.3, 13.2.2 and of course 13.2 jailbreak for the A12 devices and also we're talking about a new version of the Uncover which has been released. Now as you probably know just a day ago Apple released the iOS 13.3 and of course the iPad OS 13.3 which contains quite a lot of bug fixes in here including a kernel vulnerability which says in here quote an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges the same thing in here as well. And this one in here is coming from Ian Beer of Google Project Zero, so this may get released in the near future because it has been patched already. Now the next one doesn't come from Google, but it's still a kernel vulnerability, which may be usable in a jailbreak if it gets released. But the first one in here, the kernel vulnerability by Google Project Zero, might get released soon because Google Project Zero and Ian Beer usually release their vulnerabilities once they are patched. So we might be able to use that in the future to update the uncover once we get a TFP0 for of course iOS 13. Now of course this means that since it's been patched on iOS 13.3 it will only be supported on iOS 13.2.3 and of course 13.2.2, 13.2 and so on because these versions in here are vulnerable. Now Pound to Own, the developer behind the uncovered jailbreak posted quote, if you are on A12 or A13, stay if you are already jailbroken, stay if you are on 13.2.3 and lower and of course downgrade to iOS 13.2.3 if you are on iOS 13.2.3. I will get on it as soon as a new kernel exploit is available, so be patient and do not update. Stay on the lowest version possible. iOS 13.3 patched several kernel bugs. And this is actually very important if you're trying to jailbreak. iOS 13.3 is the worst version to be on, especially for the A13 and A12 devices, because the kernel vulnerabilities patched in here were already patched in 13.3. So if you're planning to wait for a jailbreak for iOS 13, definitely stay on 13.2.3, 13.2.2, 13.2, 13.1.3 and so on all the way down to iOS 13.0. Now for those of you who are using the Checkrain jailbreak which is basically the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 5s there is no problem if you update to 13.3 because iOS 13.3 will be supported soon by the Checkrain jailbreak there is no need for a new exploit for that but for the A12 devices which are basically the iPhone 10s, 10s Max and 10R and of course for the A13 devices which are basically the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro you definitely need a TFP0 kernel exploit which is probably going to be released by Google Project Zero in the future because it has already been patched in here. So this is why Pound Own is posting this in here, stay on 13.2.3 and lower, do not update at 13.3. Now for those of you who are unaware, a couple of days ago Pound Own posted this quote, uncover version 3.8.0 beta 1 is now out, now with 12.4.1 support for A12 devices. So yeah, the jailbreak that is currently available, even though it says in here iOS 11.0 to 12.4, it's actually compatible with the iOS 12.4.1 on A12 devices. So yeah, if you want to jailbreak your A12 device on iOS 12.4.1, you can definitely download it right now, and if you're able to sign it with an Apple developer account, then you're definitely going to be able to jailbreak 12.4.1. It has been released just two days ago, thanks to the ZacOps for their exploit. And by the way, speaking of jailbreak tools, Guardian Firewall posted us in here, quote, new open source tools for jailbreakers and researchers. Grandmaster simplifies the process of downloading and encrypting iOS firmware files, especially when working with a large number of devices and versions at once. And they posted their tool in here on uh, GitHub, which is available and it's of course very useful if you're trying to make custom-made firmwares or CFWs for your iOS device. Now this may actually be very useful for those of you who are trying to create a custom-made firmware with the Checkmate exploit, so definitely a very welcome release. Check it out on their Grandmaster GitHub in here, because it's available for download. Now to recap, for those of you who are waiting for a jailbreak on 13.2.3 and lower, I definitely recommend you to do what Pound to Own says in here, stay as low as possible and do not update iOS 13.3, especially if you have an A12 or A13 device. So yeah, for the moment, if you have an A13 or A12 device, definitely stay as low as possible on 13.2.3 or lower. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow and till next time, peace out.